Welcome to the South Atlanta Hornets Buzz TV. The broadcast that spotlights what's happening virtually at the best high school in the city of Atlanta. We are proud scholars of South Atlanta High School, where our mission is to work daily to change the mindset of who we are and what we can be. Our vision is a school that builds future leaders who will one day have a lasting impact in their communities and ultimately change the world. Today is September 24th, 2020, and I am Angela. And I am Susan. And I'm Austin. This is the fifth week of virtual learning for this school year. While this has been cool, I can't wait to get back to face-to-face -face learning. Remember students, if we want to get back to face-to-face -face learning, we have to follow the CDC guidelines, which includes washing your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. Covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Practicing social distancing within six feet distance. And wearing a mask in public. Well, Angela, what news do we have to share from our Hornet Nation today? I have an announcement from Coach Dixon. All girls that are interested in playing basketball this coming season, please contact Coach Dixon at 678-499-7074. And here is something for seniors. Our college advisors are hosting a student parent FAFSA workshop on Tuesday, September 29th at 6 o'clock p.m. This is your opportunity to apply to get free money for college. In this workshop, they'll walk you through the free application for federal student aid, and they will be here to answer any questions that you may have about this process. To register for this event, go to lu.ma slash sahs underscore FAFSA. They can't wait to see you there. Now in national news. As I'm sure many of you have heard, only one officer involved in the shooting of Breonna Taylor was indicted yesterday. Brent Hankinson is being charged with three counts of first-degree wanton endangerment. This means his actions provoke possible danger to another person. But this charge is not directly related to any of the shots that injured and killed Breonna Taylor. The other two officers, John Mattingly and Miles Cosgrove, received no charges, but they did admit to firing multiple shots during the incident. Additionally, in national news, ceremonies took place yesterday remembering our Supreme Court Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Her body will lie in repose at the Supreme Court this week with arrangements to allow the public viewing despite the coronavirus. Her body will also lie in state Friday at the Statuary Hall in our nation's capital. That will make her the first woman to ever lie in the state at the U.S. Capitol. And here's an update on the November 2020 election. The countdown to the 2020 election continues. As of today, we have 40 days until the official election date, which is Tuesday, November 3rd. According to The Guardian, the national polls are currently saying that Joe Biden is still leading. But we all know a popular vote does not guarantee a victory in our nation. However, an overwhelming number of people voting from a specific party throughout the nation can align the Electoral College with the popular vote. Hornets, if you are frustrated with the latest current events, please act in a positive way and vote. If you are legally unable to vote, please encourage those who can to vote. As we share regularly, Hornets, who are or will be 18 or older by November 3rd, 2020, please make sure that you are registered to vote. Then most importantly, vote. It is almost that time, but before we sign off, let's recite the school creed. I am a hornet, responsible for what I become. I am a hornet, not quitting until the race is won. I am a hornet. I stand with dignity and pride. I am a hornet, pushing all small things aside. I am a hornet. There will never be another like me. I am a hornet. Standing tall, being all I can be. I am a hornet, a leader. I show no fear. I am a hornet. South Atlanta, the school I hold dear. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. And have a great day of teaching and learning. Ta-ta for now. Through sacrifice and love, he goes beyond this strife for thee. Oh, alma mater, you are dear, dear alma mater. We proudly hail thy name through the years of happiness.
dinosaurs and tears will dedicate our lives to you. Hail to South Atlanta, we'll always praise thy name through the years. We'll work each day with pride and dignity. Oh, South Atlanta, 